Hi guys, I am very excited because I'm going to Ed Sheeran's um, concert. I think it's a concert, actually it's more like a, I've got to calm down, it's more of a premiere for his concert at Wembley, which I went to, and it was amazing. So I'm very excited to what the film is gonna be like. I guess it's behind the scenes and everything that's going on on how he made this amazing performance at Wembley. And so this is how I do my half an hour quick run through for the red carpet. So I have to put some product in my hair. This Philip B smells amazing and it protects the hair. So if you're like me and you're using, you know, curling your hair, straining your hair, blow drying your hair, this is going to protect it and make sure that your hair is still fabulous. And I'm not going to put any serum or like smoothing because I actually kind of, I'm not even sure if I want to curl my hair, if I have time, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I try to use less serum because that's going to make my hair flat and drop. So here we go, here's a quick blast. Good if you have some great music to get ready to. That heart is so cold. I would say it's more or less dry. So I like to use a toner and I like Murad toner. So I'll spray this onto my face. Like so, all the way down the neck. And then I like to use Rapid Collagen by Murat also to give a bit of plumping. Being super fast. Then I like to use this SK2 Illuminating Essence because this is going to give you a really beautiful glow that everyone's going to be like, how did she get that glow? And I'm like, SK2. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and I love the little pipette. I feel like I'm in some sort of um, like back to school in a chemistry class. So scientific. So I would say almost done, but not forgetting Hourglass, this amazing little thing. I was just sold on this to be honest. It looks amazing and it's actually gold plated. I kid you not. So you get that. <laughs> so the lips can moisturize. So now we move on to my favorite part, which is the makeup. I like to use these two, as I think I've shown you before. Uh, one is a glow and is like a sort of illuminating base. I know we did use a base, but this is a kind of different, it's got a color. And then this is the foundation, which is gonna give you the beautiful even finish. So you know me, I like to put it on the back of my hand. We need a tiny little few amounts. And I rub it in and I put it all over because it's so light and you kind of want an even, even glow. You don't just want the cheeks. So, and I like to use my hand like I told you because I like it to be really put in and not just like, if you use a sponge, the sponge absorbs, I guess, I'm not gonna give you a percentage because then I could be factually incorrect, but <laughs> I I say it absorbs, you know, at least half. So then we put the foundation on. Make sure it's all rubbed in. I think, girls, with foundation, less is more. It's actually really nice to be able to see the pores, see the few freckles. As you can see, I have lots of freckles. All right, so then we need a little bit of concealer. I like to use this one. It's tiny and so cute and mini, so mini. And it is great for covering up these little, little patches that aren't so perfect for how we want them. I use my brush for this part because we're being a little bit more specific of the area. And I will just put it in the bits that I want to cover up. So I generally like the eye area. And it's slightly lighter than my foundation because we want light, the light to be in the T-zone section and around the eyes to be slightly lighter to give you open, to open your eyes a bit more. So it's great to use a lighter color, slightly a fraction lighter than your foundation. You want light to be here and like slightly darker and contoured around the sides. They do this really great palette, Tom Ford and I like to use my little contouring brush 
and I use the darker one and I just line it there and do the same on the other side and I know I look kind of ridiculous right now but I promise you it all makes sense in the end why don't I just use this mirror on the back of the brush I like to use the white one which is the illuminating and I just dab it on above the cheekbone and a little bit here a little bit there and a little bit under the eyes under the eyebrows not under the eyes what am I talking about okay now we are on to the eyebrows and I like to brush them up first using this Charlotte uh, Tilbury beautiful brush brush them up and then I use my Shivata palette this little brow brush go like this underneath and really create a structure there because there isn't much structure and as you know and you probably point out that I have lots of stray hairs I actually deliberately leave them there because I'm trying to grow up my eyebrows which have been slightly over threaded um, unfortunately that's the problem when you go and traveling and you let anyone loose on your eyebrows. Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. And now for the eyeshadow. So this is my MAC palette of eyeshadows. And I'm going to use the beige one, which is almost run out because I use it so much. And it's nice and natural. And I'm just gonna put that all along the base of the eye okay so we are going for an own quite natural on the red carpet today so I want to just use this little brown one here it's quite shimmery and I'm going to use my brush over the top but you can put it on directly just for a little bit more um, pre precision and I'm going to put it into the ball where the eye socket is meets the eyelid and the reason you put it here is that it really opens up the eye and gives you more of an eye lid. So you blend it in like this into the eye socket. And you can build up as much as you want. I'm a little bit, a little bit cut for time. So I'm not gonna do that. And then over the top, you use this little white one blow it so you don't have too much and then which gives a bit of glitter little actually I hate glitter so it's not glitter it's more of a shimmer do you not want to look like a glitter ball I tried that back in 2007 didn't work and lived to regret it ever since moving on swiftly um, we are um, going now used to use the eyeliner you know when you look at something and you're like oh damn I forgot that step Primer. We forgot primer. Oh well. So we're, we're racing through this and you, know, you forget a process, you forget a step, life goes on. So we are doing a little bit of bronzer here. And the reason I'm doing the bronzer at this step is because this part can be a bit messy and I don't want the, I don't want, I want to finish completely the base before we move on to the liquid liners and mascaras. So it's 5.45, red carpet opens at six. We're gonna do the eyeliner. I just put it into here, Laura Mercier, dubbed it in, take the excess off the side. I'm gonna put the lid on because it gets dry very quickly. And just squeeze the eyelid like this. And there we have it. My Egyptian eye. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm doing this so fast. I do usually take a little bit more care. Now that it's dry, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And I much prefer to curl than to um, use fake eyelashes because I think fake eyelashes are look really fake. And at the end of the day, we wanna look natural. 
So give them a bit of a squeeze, hold down for like 10 seconds, maybe longer depending how you, long you need. Now they are lovely and curled. And we just need to put the mascara on. I like to use Hourglass mascara. Maybe put a little bit on the top to get like double thickness. As we are going to a red carpet event. The idea is to get the false lash effect, but with your own natural lashes, of course. Another dip in. Honestly, the girls, I think one dip on each is enough. Don't overdo it. Okay, so now we have some very fluttery eyelashes. You can use a little bit, and I mean tiny bit, so take off the excess on here. And just put a little bit on the bottom. And now, this beautiful goldy brownie eyeshadow, a brownie, um, it's more gold actually, eyeliner on the very inside of the eye. There we go. So then once that's done, we then have the lipstick and the hair. We will do the hair now. We don't want to do the red lipstick and then the hair. Otherwise, you're going to have hair and lipstick. Blah, 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 blah. Not good. So, just make sure that all the product is really well rubbed in. All right. Okay, now for the lipstick. And it's amazing. It's from Stowaway. And they do all these cool little miniature um, products for traveling. I love this colour, it's so amazing and bright. That is the look. What do you think, guys? Please make sure to leave me any comments or questions in the comments box underneath. And also, of course, you have to subscribe to the channel because um, I will be uploading more videos and it will let you know if you subscribe when my next video is up.